and the father's level of, uh, of political, you know, acumen. And it wasn't based on compromising his way. In the 1960s, they knew what he was teaching, and it had to be so confrontational. People don't understand peace. That his name being um, Allah in the 1960s is already abrasive as hell. Like it's a, it's abrasive. It's disrespectful to most black people to just be named Allah. Like you know what I mean? And then when you translate it, like what does that mean? They go, no, he's God. It's like how dare you? You know how dare you? That's even offensive to a Christian that you would name yourself any other name of God, like or or God in anything. And he's doing all of this, and. The real men mental thing to keep in the head is that, what? He's God. He's responsible for all humanity, so he has to learn how to speak to all the people. And he has to learn how to be comfortable amongst all the people, even if he doesn't bear witness to any of the systems that the people engage in to, to allow the society to function. I think there's, a, there's an incorrect, lazy, written rule in the way that we learn from the Father, and we say that, we have to bear witness to all these systems because we're engaging in getting a trade or, or a career and we engage and we benefit and we help society. That's not what we do. We don't have to bear witness to any structure in this society. We have to engage in it peacefully, civilly, righteously, but we don't have to bear mm. witness to any form of instruction. We don't have to never, we don't have to ever agree with capitalism. We don't have to ever agree with any other Christian foundation. We don't have to agree with any of that. Because to tell you the truth, it seems smooth. Like it goes along smooth. You could be a smooth American and be God because of all this rap and all of this consciousness that has led from, the, from, from once the Father started teaching all the way to now and it feels smooth. You could be an American and be God at the same time. So so dope. I'm like I'm, I'm like God American. You know, God American. I'm a God, I'm a God, I'm a God American. I'm also an African American. I'm also a Chinese American, right? The the thing the thing about it, right? It sounds so whack, right? The thing about it is that like the father to live at the time that he was living, he was making he was dealing with people while they had to be grossly uncomfortable with his reality grossly uncomfortable and yet he was still doing all this stuff you know what i mean he was still living out all this stuff so it doesn't mean that you assimilate these are these are dirty words to me you know appropriation i was talking about but assimilation is what we do you know? once we assimilate it means that we compromise certain ideals that we have on what could be the greatest type of system and we never engage in trying to change or build up something new and we just assimilate into that. Integration is one of the greatest examples of assimilation known in this country's history. How did that go? How's that going so far? Right. We assimilated, we took away all our businesses and now all we talk about and never really get to do and have difficulty doing, like legitimate difficulty, not laziness difficulty is um, making, supporting black business. We don't know how to do that, you know what I'm saying? Even all these neighborhoods that you think like, oh look, those, those original people, they have great businesses and stuff. They have their own communities. You know, like they go, oh, look, uh, Puerto Ricans, they have their own bodegas and stuff. I'm like, how long did that last? That wasn't really, I mean, that wasn't a hotbed of financial <laughs> capitalism, you know, it wasn't a hotbed. People go Washington Heights though, it's a whole like Dominican community of power and stuff like that. And that's just where Dominicans live. It's just where they, they rest their head at. It's not, I, mean, I, I live there, isn't it? Yo, God. It's not a stronghold. It's not like a Jew, Jew Hasidic communities in, 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 in school. Oh, they are school. They yeah. take it over them. There's a big difference going through Borough Park. You see what the Hasidics do there. And going through Dominic, uh, um, Dominicans. And Dominican neighborhood of uh, Kiskea Heights, you know, it's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't see Dominican police saw, police, you know, in in, uh, in, in Washington Heights, so, you know? I don't get harassed because I'm Puerto Rican, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it doesn't happen, you know what I mean? But they don't have this financial foundation just because they all live in one area and they do a lot of commerce together, though, you know? Because in the end, though, the real means of production we don't really have we have access to make services, but we don't really have a lot of means of production, you know? So brother goes, I have my own business, I make my own t-shirts, so. 
you don't make your own t-shirts, you finish them. You finish them. You put the last piece yeah. that you like on the t-shirt and it, it's yours. You know, so we don't really have all that access to what we think, you know. So when we talk about all this hustle and bustle and stuff like that, we're not thinking. So what I'm saying is like, it's the way that we think about these systems, you know. The way we think about voting and the way we think about this, like, we have to learn how to be a contradiction in the system instead of worrying so much about being a hypocrite, you know. If Mega did this.